Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Paul Blocks Garage. I've had this, um, uh, I've had this tuner, this Diablo Trinity T2 XP Platinum, for probably about a week now, and I've been messing around with it, trying to figure out how to use it and how to use the features and adjust the parameters and all that stuff. And uh, I'd have to say I'm really like really enjoying it, um, but uh, one of the things that I see on it that I kind of can't say I don't like it because you know just because I don't understand it don't mean that um, that later on when I figure it out that I won't really love it um, it's got it so much on here that uh, it will take you probably weeks to, to figure out how to use it all um, the instructions you get with the, the package it pretty much is a quick start kind of thing where it just gets you up and running and uh, you can have up to three types of uh, gauge settings on here or actually display where you can like swipe it over and it'll give you different displays that you can uh, modify uh, i just kind of been messing around with it uh, one of the things with me is is uh, i can't see that well anyway and you have to almost have the seat up under your steering wheel if you're an older guy like me and have eye problems to actually see the gate the gauges and what they are a lot of abbreviations as you can see i don't know if you can maybe the sun may be too bright but a lot of the abbreviations over there i have no idea what that stands for and when you look in the guides that, you, that comes with the tuner there's nothing in there telling you what that actually is for or what it's telling you and i'll go in and i download custom tunes into my computer and I went in, some of them it'll actually have it written out with the, the uh, abbreviation under it where you can figure out what that's trying to tell you what that is. Unless you're some kind of certified tuner guru like Jay Green or somebody or, uh, you know, an ASC guy that does this for a living. Just an average Joe like me that bought this tuner and you're trying to figure out what it is can get aggravating at times because you don't know what you're looking at. Uh, I have been doing some uh, intake experiments, the ambient uh, intake temperature experiences since uh, I got the 93 tune downloaded in here and I got the stock air intake box in, still in here and I uh, just put a can in air filter in it. About 94 degrees outside a couple of days ago and my, according to this Diablo Sport gauge, he was saying my intake temperature was 99 and it was 94 degrees outside. So that's, you know, to me, that's not really too bad. Uh, <coughs> but when I parked the car, I had the hood down. When I parked the car, the intake, uh, after about 10 minutes, got up to 160 degrees. And that's, you know, kind of scary because I don't know what kind of damage that's doing. Uh, if it's, you know, I really don't know, you know, if that's bad for the car, but... It's 94 degrees and I usually uh, get get to work 30 minutes to an hour early sometimes and uh, just to get myself mentally and physically repaired for going to work and I, I had no idea my intake temperatures were getting that high until I got this gauge. Uh, I do know that when I lifted the hood on it, which I, uh, I took off my uh, that cover that goes over the engine because you can't tell anything about the engine with that on there. And I plan on getting half covers and putting on the car. but. I don't know if it'll run cooler with that with that on there, the cover on there or not. But I did lift the hood, and uh, it didn't get it didn't get hotter than 130 degrees with the hood up. Which brings me to another subject uh, that I kind of got thinking about. When you go into buying an intake, and uh, you're thinking about buying an open box intake, like Mopar's got one, and they want nearly $500 for that thing, and uh, it's open box. And I got to thinking. Uh, these horsepower gains we're talking about when they're doing these tests, these dyno tests, they're doing it in a, uh, a controlled environment, like the hood up, a fan going, and it's blowing out, you know, and, and uh, it's blowing out a lot of the intake temperatures that in real world tests, like with the hood down or driving down the road, um, you're not going to get that much horsepower, that much torque because you're sucking in all that hot air. You're not having a fan blowing on the engine, you're not having the hood up, and you're not in a, in some places are air conditioning on the inside of these dyno shops. So in my opinion, I'm not ever gonna buy an open face air intake like a LMI or a Jammer or a, uh, 
Mopar. And, you know, some people may have took their cars to a dyno, but did you do it with the hood down? Uh, did you do it with a dyno outside in normal temperatures? Did you do it after the car had been running for a while? Uh, most, most of the time I would think not, but um, I do know that with the closed box, in, the closed box uh, intake seems to have uh, lower uh, intake temperatures because you're not sucking in all that hot air. But anyway, enough of that. But um, I kind of just went in, I added this gauge, but they give you three choices to have three gauges here you can scroll through. And I've been just trying to, really just been kind of messing with the with it. I know here you can change the backgrounds, which I got the background changed to that Diablo emblem and it's supposed to have fire coming out of it, which you can't really tell it. Even at night, you can't tell it. It's there now, but you can't, you can't really see it. Um, so I'm not too enthusiastic with that. But uh, the other things I like is, is, you know, here's the tuning. We can actually go in. I found out the other day, just messing around with it, how you can actually go in and modify stock tune, which is uh, the tune that you put in there, like the 93 tune, and go in and change the perimeters of it. So I went in and changed the rev limiter, turned the MDS off, um, put the rev limiter to 6500s to the 6 is what the factory has you at, I think. And because it was set on like 6,000, 6, I changed it to 65. And let's see, I went in and changed the uh, throttle response to uh, five more percent. I'll probably go in and increase that because uh, I, I can really tell a big difference in just 5%. I don't know how much the, the uh, tuner will let you change on it, how, how much, but I just did 5% to see if it was just, you know, outlandishly noticeable, you know, and I kind of liked it. And I went in and changed, uh, there's a feature where you can go in and change, uh, I think it's a quick feature. Let's see if it's in the quick feature. You just hit tune, and I think it's in the quick feature. Where you can actually go in and and uh, I guess it's uh, a stock tune in here. Quick adjust is what it's under. And I think you can go in and make the transmission shift harder. Well, I know you can because I actually put it in here, but the transmission was shifting so hard it, it kind of honestly, you know, kind of kind of scared the crap out of me. To be honest with you. Yeah, it's trash control. I kind of left that alone. I could just completely turn that off. And then you got your trans where it says uh, shift firmness. And you can actually go in the uh, the uh, modify stock tune and, and the shift firmness percent, you can change it. But I just put whatever the one that they had in the, uh, in the, in the uh, tuner set up already. And uh, it, I could tell a big difference the way it shifted. And I, I went back and turned it to where the TCM would just be able to do it itself. Because it honestly scared the shit out of me, to be honest with you. It was shifting so hard. Uh, I was afraid it would tear my transmission up it was shifting so hard. And I know people, a lot of people go in and change your torque management settings and leave the uh, transmission settings alone because when you put that tune in there, it kind of helps that. Uh, the shifting patterns. I could tell it was more crisp, more firm, more fluent. But when I went in and, ch and changed to, to that setting that I was just showing you, when I went in and did the shift firmness where I, when I went in and uh, hit uh, increase, uh, it I, it honestly scared the shit out of me. It was shifting so hard. And uh, it, didn't, it didn't chirp a tire, but uh, I've got brand new uh, 295, 45, 20, Neo Proxy, uh, three, three streets, and uh, they're they're pretty they're pretty soft, sticky compound, and uh, and I'm surprised it didn't I'm surprised it didn't chirp those tires, but uh, I'm still having spinning issues now that I put this tune in here. It's been a lot more now than what it was even with traction control on, but. If you're looking for a good tuner, I mean, you can go and buy the i3 if you want to, but you won't have the you won't have this option of having it, you know, here where you can actually monitor and watch everything that's being done, and you know all these other little features I like, um, where you can go in and do the eight for mile, quarter of a mile time, 60, zero to sixty, zero to one hundred times. You can either do a tree or you can do a stoplight, and. Uh, 
but uh, let's see here. I'll show you. What's this one? How this works. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other videos out there where people are showing you how to use these tuners, but you got your 0 to 60, 0 to 100, fourth of a mile, and then your eighth of a mile, which, you know, quarter of a mile and eighth of a mile. And uh, the 0 to 60 test. Um, I like it because you can either do it at, like as a tree, as you can see, you know, it's got the lights. You can come to a dead stop and you put your foot on the brake, kind of uh, torque brake it up if you want to. And, uh, and I don't even know if these cars, which I need to I need to read about it, if they even come factor with some kind of a torque, you know, some kind of a, a stall in the torque motor. Uh, really don't know if it will or not, but... Um, I kind of put my foot on the brake like I'm at the drag strip and uh, then after I'm set up and got myself ready you just uh, hit start and see how it goes down just like a tree boom it starts the time and then you can go like from a stoplight 0 to 60 so when you take off it's automatically going to start your timer just like the, the factory one that comes on your gauge down here under info but I like the tuner. It's it's fun to play with. And I go in, I data log, and I'm looking at my data log. Some of the things I know what it is. Uh, some of the things I'm not quite sure what it is. But if you're going to spend the money, you might as well get the best one there is out there. In my opinion, it's the uh, Diablo Sport uh, Trinity EX Platinum. That's, I don't see any other tuner out there. I've looked at a lot of them, the features. And what they come with and in my opinion just my opinion this is the best one out there uh, i plan on buying um i believe i'm gonna get me a i thought it was pretty cool the little diablo window shield banner you can get that goes across the front of the windshield and i saw that they carried something else which i said jammer and that is by diablo and they have a kit you can buy where it comes with a jammer cold air intake and the tuner and a PCM if you want it, you know, for your 2015 and up. But uh, there was something else I saw that they had, which I was going to do some research and see how good they are. But they have the oil separator cans, like the JLT. It's not JLT, but it's made by Diablo, and it's a oil separator can. It looks pretty. It looks almost like a JLT, and it looks like it's made out of pretty good material. But. Uh, I didn't even look to see how much they were, but in my opinion, it, just me, I, if I usually buy one part from somebody and I start modding, I usually try to stick with everything with that part. So if I have any troubles, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just calling that one company uh, about the product if I'm having problems with it instead of calling a, around a whole lot of different places. But uh, anyway, I'm hoping this video was a little helpful. If you're thinking about buying a tuner, maybe it helps you out to make your decision. Um, I'm no guru at a tuner by no means. Uh, this is just a couple of days of me messing with it while at work. I'm off today, off tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get out and do, into Mexico and do some pulls and uh, try to get a helper to come with me to kind of video everything. It makes it a lot easier when you got somebody videoing uh, as opposed to standing here holding this and trying to work the tuner at the same time. And I'm trying to get some dialoguing in too where I can actually see, uh, you know, how my spark is advancing when I'm getting on it, and what my throttle percents are, and, and uh, what the torque is. And there is a feature I was told, which I've not found it yet, where you can actually go in and tell you what your horsepower is, what your torque is on a gauge uh, as you're driving. I mean, that's the one I'm highly interested in finding, and I just, I just got to search uh, under uh, some of the parameters in here and just see if I can find it. Uh, anyway, uh, hopefully uh, this helped y'all make a decision if you're looking to buy a tuner. Uh, I don't see one out there that I like better than this one, the way it's set up and the way that it works. And the customer support with Diablo is just incredible. Uh, when I bought this, I did a video where I bought it from MFM Performance. They ordered it for me. Uh, they're a dealer with Diablo. And, uh, I got ordered the wrong one, I ordered the XC, and it's for the 50 state legal uh, tune that you can put in here that if you go and have your vehicle tested in one of the states that require you to have miscontrol, 
it can pass. And uh, I didn't want that one. And when I called Diablo Sport or Diablo uh, Sport and uh, talked to technical support, it comes through a little page that comes in your box that has their number. I told him what I did, and he just asked me for my uh, serial number on the back of the tuner, and I gave it to him. And then five minutes, and he had uh, the files and stuff sitting there waiting for me to log into the website to update the tuner to the platinum at no extra cost because they both cost the same. And uh, he didn't charge me anything for that. And the MFM Performance actually uh, took my tuner and logged into the website and updated everything on it. Had the tuner ready for me just to, you know, plug it in and, and uh, boot it up and boot the tune in and you know go to testing the tuning. But and I really appreciate them doing that. But uh, they're they're located in uh, Pensacola, Florida. It's the MFM Performance. Uh, so if you're looking for a good performance shop to uh, for buying wheels and tires and parts and performance parts and having things installed, that would probably be a good place to, to, to go to if you're in that area. But anyway, this is Paul Bart's Garage. Hopefully this video was helpful. Maybe uh, you know you learned something today. And uh, like and subscribe if you want to. Dislike and unsubscribe if you want to. But uh, have a good day. Signing off.